This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. There's no hiding it. Tabletop role-playing games are huge right now. From Dungeons and Dragons to, well, well, I guess mostly Dungeons and Dragons, but it's always interesting to see new life brought back to a game that predates the Nintendo Entertainment System. Now, I never played D&D growing up as a kid, but hearing other kids' stories about the campaigns they played in, maybe that was for the best. Instead, I found myself more interested in the concept around it. After all, D&D was just a game, and that means I could make my own, right? I tend to be a very cyclical person, meaning every year I do certain hobbies at specific times. And for some reason, January for me has always been the try to make a role-playing game month. So after trying for a couple years to make a game, it came as no shock that in January 2020, I joined Kickstarter's second annual Zine Quest. Zine Quest is fairly simple. Basically, the idea is to make either your own role-playing game or to write a module for a popular one like D&D. And this felt like the perfect opportunity for me to finally make the tabletop role-playing game I always wanted. But before we get started, Squarespace. Making your own website or online store can be a huge pain in the butt from scratch. Believe me, I've done it many times before. And the best way to cut the hassle is to use Squarespace. From selling your products online, making a portfolio or gallery of your work, or even something as tedious as image scaling, it's so much easier and saves you so much time with Squarespace. As the internet expands, I truly believe that everyone should have internet real estate, but creating your own website doesn't mean you have to be disconnected from social media. With Squarespace, you can connect your social profiles so that way you can instantly post on different platforms, making it fantastic and easy to post your new product or game. Make sure to go check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready you're all set to launch go to squarespace.com slash goodgifts to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain now before we get ahead of ourselves it's probably best to explain why i wanted to make my own game in the first place you see most tabletop role-playing games are like reading scientific journals they're full of insanely detailed characters with complex mechanics and long, drawn-out backstories. And for some people, that's what they love about it. They love the details, they love the complexity. But for me, the appeal of a tabletop game came from the creativity and the imagination behind it. I love the idea that I could sit down with my friends and we could go to this world in our imagination together and have a fun adventure, kick some monsters butt, and then call it a day. I also like adding a lot of humor to my games because I just feel like all adventures should have some sort of funny moment. Unlike some role-playing games, which can be really depressing and serious, and it just feels too stuffy. So after seeing Zine Quest, I knew I had to make a game, and I couldn't do it alone. So I recruited my close friend and fellow graphic designer, Brad, to help me out. So with optimism in our hearts and a twinkle in our eye, we began creating Snomes. Now, to say that I started from a completely empty slate is probably unfair. I actually created Snomes a couple years prior before I started Feareth. It was for this winter Christmas form website we made. The website's whole purpose was to challenge us to make winter creative things. It could be movies, it could be stories. Super random. But one of the ideas was about this town that was going to freeze over by Christmas and the people on the forum had to comment and they had to figure out the mystery of what happened to this winter star and save it before Christmas happened. So they had about a week in real time. Now I wrote a lot of detail about the characters in the town and the story. So already having an idea, we figured out how we were going to print and manufacture the booklets and then we just came up with some concept art. One of the main goals I had for this zine was to just push myself to try something different. So I wanted to illustrate in a style that I had never done before. Eventually, Brad and I bounced a couple ideas back and forth until we ended up with this lovely snome artwork. But then, we made a huge mistake. Releasing the Kickstarter before the game was finished. We knew that Zine Quest was about to start and we didn't have time to fully flesh out and write the copy for the game. So we quickly came up with the concept behind the game, we tested it once, we created the character sheet, a map, 
and the snow illustration. That's all we had. 90% of the book was not complete, but we ran out of time and we decided to launch the Kickstarter anyway. And to our surprise, it actually turned out really well. Now, I never explained the main gimmick or the main mechanic of Snomes. And the main mechanic is that you play as these magical winter gnomes that are self-proclaimed masters of magic. And basically, whenever you roll a one on the dice, something terrible is about to happen. And those are called reckless reactions. There's these weird magic abilities. You actually get to pick them that happen. They can range from shooting a fireball out to gravity changing or even you turning into a lamp. Now the game is meant to be extremely chaotic and believe me, it is. And if you love being a game master and running role playing games, you'll find that this game really keeps you on your toes and you have to constantly be thinking about new ideas, how you're gonna keep the players from basically destroying themselves. So once the Kickstarter finished, we kind of relaxed. We felt good, we created this game, and we did everything within two weeks, which is not that long of a time at all. But then we got busy, we got sidetracked, we had other projects that we were working on. And don't get me wrong, we did order the dice, we got everything set up that we needed in order for us to ship. It just was the writing portion. Now, it's not the writing part that's hard, it's the sitting down to do it in the first place. Especially a book that needed to be finished and published and sent out within a month. But the pressure of the Kickstarter started to get to me and I was starting to get writer's block. I didn't really wanna make anything, I just was super intimidated. Until finally one day, I decided I was gonna spend the week doing nothing but writing. I wouldn't talk with friends, I wouldn't get distracted, I wasn't even gonna go outside, I just had to write. And so I wrote every single day for hours and I just was focused, I would think about the game, I would think about the concepts. And when I would finish a page, I'd reach out to Brad and have him do an illustration. And after spending a week in isolation and focus, I finally finished the game. All that was left to do was the fun part, creating more illustrations and doing all the typesetting. Now I'm sure for a lot of you people out there, at this point you're snoring, typesetting, how can that be fun? But there's something so satisfying by picking out fonts, laying out your book, and just setting your type perfectly. And after I finished that, all that was left to do was to print the copies and send them off. And luckily for me, Brad is a total chad when it comes towards printing and shipping things, and he took care of all that with his lovely wife super fast. Now, for those of you out there that actually want to play the game for yourselves, it's actually available on itch.io right now. There's a print and play version, you can print it out and start playing with your friends, you can play it online. There actually was a group that live streamed it recently, and it looked like they had a blast playing it. I just want to give a huge shout out to Heath Sargent, Rye Bread, and Buddy Games, and the rest of the fantastic Patreon supporters who make these videos possible. And I just want to thank you for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you next time for another Game Dev Adventure.